I don't know why I keep putting it on the boom. The GoPro just does not want to go on the end of that boom. Just doesn't want to. Quit forcing it. It is filthy. So I will get on washing that this morning. Uh, welcome back, guys. It is Friday, April the 30th. Can you believe it? We're almost into May. Uh, got a pretty busy day today. We decided to keep on cotton. We got like four little fields that we can do over in the valley that are gonna be cotton. Um, one of those was the field that PA was speed tilling uh, yesterday afternoon. Anyway, so we're gonna stay on cotton. Dad's gonna be running the planter. PA, we're gonna keep him on the speed tiller. Uh, two of the fields need to be uh, disc before we plant it. They got weeds and stuff growing in it. I hadn't burned it down, but uh, Josh is going to be uh, keeping PA, keeping Dad running. James is going to pick up some parts and stuff in town, and Wayne is fixing a culvert over in the valley. I don't know. It's like all Wayne does fix culverts, so and we never had so many culvert problems. But anyway. And I'm going to be coming behind the planters, uh, spraying the capper all and stuff and putting the fertilizer out. So it's going to be a busy day. I'm glad y'all decided to come out here with us. And I uh, hope y'all enjoy the video. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thank you. All right. Let's get something done. We'll be using the Phytogen 400 again. We got like five bags left over. And uh, so we're going, these are non-returnable, so we're going to run these out and then we'll swap to the Delta Pine. But. Need a bigger belt. I just I can only use something this size. It's so hard. It broke my bolt trying to make it the size it is on the other side. Find the bearing. The yeah. This one. It's just a seal, right? Yeah, right now, but I don't think they're non-repairable. I think they come packed with grease and everything and you just bolt it on. Got a seal gone out. And this is a non-greasable bearing like Dad said. It's not good. 
I think PA is gonna grease it up real quick, and then he's gonna get the get the discing. I had to put a bolt in the uh, our pull pin. Didn't have a bolt. What about that grease it? I got the one on this side. Okay. I didn't even see it was one on the other side. Some pressure on the other side. I could put it between my knees. Mm. Squeeze it with your knees. I wonder if you can let it down and it kind of wiggles that thing because when you let it down, it, um, this comes up. See what happens? You may have to fold it, fold it out. Yeah, fold it out and let the disc on the ground, then it'll pop this thing up higher. Battery's dead again. <laughs> This is your tractor, isn't it? Yeah. Same one that keeps giving trouble? Yeah. Cranked up now. He keeps those. I think he keeps them in his back seat or something. He uses the floorboard as a. Uh, he's got his toolbox back here. He's got, I think, 30 army boxes up under his toolbox. And then he's also got a basket of tools in here. Where do you keep those? I don't know if that's real safe. He's using that to keep the gas. Using that to prize against the gas to uh, try to charge up his tractor faster. <laughs> I'm gonna go out here and fill up with water. I've already put the carbos in like you saw. Now we're going to top it off with 400 gallons of water. You can fill it up real quick out here with this big hose, but it's a two-person job. That's a lot of pressure on that thing. I thought I was gonna get a bath this morning. I'm telling you, cut it off. Okay, he's gonna top off with diesel and then he's ready to go plant. The A's already left, go start disking. I'm gonna go check one field up the road that I've never put fertilizer on the corn and I'm hoping the corn is not out of the ground yet. So I'm gonna run up there and check that and uh make a decision on what i'm gonna do up there then i'll probably come back and rinse off my rogator i may go ahead and pull it up there in case wayne wants to wash it for me but anyway i'll wash it off and uh i'll either be putting fertilizer on corn or i'll be jumping back on cotton
All right, today is going to be uh, let's spray the smallest fields on the farm day. <laughs> uh, literally, I only have like 20 acres of cotton fields we're gonna plant today and they're all little bitty five acre fields or whatever. A lot of people have been uh, asking me to do a basically a walk around of my row gator and explain what row gator I have and all that. So I thought today would be a perfect day to do a little quick walk around because we don't have too much going on today. So basically, I'll start with the boom first because I'm way out here. All right, got 120 foot booms. That is how long they are from this end right here to that end down there is 120 feet, which is pretty big, but I like it. I would never go smaller. Uh, I have in-row nozzles and an in-row nozzle is what it's doing is shooting about 15 feet out from right here. Got the five-way nozzle. I only got four of them on here. You can twist those around. All you do is twist them to go to the next nozzle real easy. Um, oh, another thing is my row shutoffs or my nozzle shutoffs. I went with the Hawkeye system is an option that's available through Agco. Uh, the Hawkeye system I think is three nozzles are tied together electronically. So basically when I come into somewhere I sprayed it's gonna cut off these three nozzles will cut off at the same time. Uh, they used to make it where they were larger sections, like seven sections total. And it'd be like this whole end of the boom would cut off. But now the Hawkeye is three nozzles. I uh, could have gone with the cap stand, but, and it would have been individual nozzles would have shut off. That's whenever it got to an overlap. Um, but man, that was, that jumped the price up really, really high. So I didn't go with that option. Um, I thought three nozzles was fine cutting off at one time. Okay, moving on. I've got the, this little black thing right here is the NORAC height sensor. So this boom has seven sensors um, on it that controls the height. Basically I set a height of how high I want this boom to be from the ground in the cab and it tries to maintain that height the whole time while it's going. See, I can stick my hand right here. See that? It's shooting a radar down and it's hitting the ground and coming back. And so, I've had the NORAC system on the last couple of Rogators and I don't know, I haven't tried any other ones but I think it works fine. So, the model I have is an RG 1300C. Uh, it's the biggest one they make. It's got a 1300 gallon tank on it. Uh, I think it's the biggest one they make. They may have gone a little bigger. This is a 2019 model. We bought it brand new. Uh, some things may have changed by now. I don't know if they've gotten a little bigger on the tank. But anyway, this was the biggest you could get at the time in 2019. Got my flotation tires on here. They're 650 by 65 R 38s. And uh, they're called flotation tires because they're wide. We run these in the winter and most of the spring, but I'm getting, getting ready to swap them back to my skinny tires because uh, when these crops come up, that tire is too wide to go down in between them. It'll be running over the crop. So. Got my floaters on, which will be taken off shortly, and my skinny tire will be put on. It's got an inductor system. It's where you pour the chemical in. That thing comes down. You've seen it in videos, pour it in. They've added this digital keypad right here. That is really nice. Cutting your pump on and off, and it keeps up with how many gallons is in there as you're filling up. Does a lot of stuff. Very, very cool. It got a strong pump. That pump may not look like much, but good gosh, 
it will suck some volume through there to fill that tank up so quick it's unbelievable one more cool feature on here is it's got the liquid logic system that they i think they've got a patent on but basically the booms have no 90 degree angles on it they're all 45s and the booms recirculate so that's why they got a hose coming right here coming in going out coming back in so the boom re will recirculate from that end all the way to that end all the time if you want it to keep your chemical and your boom stirred and primed and a neat feature is if you got through spraying had some left in your boom you didn't want to leave it in the boom over the weekend or something hit a button pushes air comes through the booms pushes all the product back into your tank so there's nothing in the booms left except air which is really cool it's got cameras on it good time to clean it off I have the uh, front load system So you can pull up to the to your tanker, pull up like this, you can hook your hose on, fill up your rogator right there, or you can fill it up on the side where the pump is. But that's an option that I get on there. The one thing I do not like about the rogator in this front fill, and I'll show you, and it's not that big a deal, but if you'll notice before I get over there, that loud engine, the hose on it kind of is a little low. It's a lot lower than the frame of the machine. So when I get it to spray in like tall cotton, uh, the foliate cotton, and it's just tall, uh, I kind of run into an issue where that hose kind of starts ripping the leaves off the top of some of the plants. But see how low it is compared to the frame. just one little little complaint but it's not a big deal until uh, the very end of the season it's got a agco engine uh, which I love very reliable great engine I think this is probably the eighth in a row rogator I've had maybe ninth we've had a pile of them so I know all about them okay moving on to the cab real quick I know we're getting a little long a little lengthy here but uh, got the Raven 4 screen and that handles all my application part spraying and everything is through Raven uh, this is my Trimble Trimble guidance does the GPS RTK half inch accuracy is supposed to be what they're supposed to keep this big old machine on which is unbelievable iPad is for the climate view keeping up with uh, what I spray records and all uh, this is a console screen that comes with it. They've changed everything up in the cab uh, on this model from my previous. Electronic hydrostat. Love this. This is no cables, nothing like the old hydrostat. This is all electronic right here. Okay, so that was the quick walk around the Rogator 1300C. Um, I hope you didn't get too bored with it had a lot of people comment commenting wanting me to do that so those people i hope y'all enjoyed that i hope everybody enjoyed it and i hope it didn't make it too long but uh that's pretty much it i love rogators i had a lot of them uh the great great machines and uh we'll keep buying them Well guys, that's going to be it for the video. Uh, pretty productive day for a Friday. We have caught up with uh, dry land and everything else. Uh, where we were going to plant cotton is still wet. So um, we're going to end it today and uh, quit for the weekend. Um, 
and I caught up spraying with everything they got planted so uh, we're just gonna call it quits and uh, we'll be back Monday got a baseball game tonight at 5 so uh, it'll be Friday night lights again for me but I hope y'all enjoyed the video and uh, if you don't mind give me a thumbs up and we'll see y'all next week see ya